All right, what's going on guys? We're back here at Hoogies Imports with another special vehicle. This one here, for the classic K-Van lovers out there, this one is a 1993 Honda Acti Street Limited four-wheel drive. Um, so yeah, this one's a more of a basic K-Van, I guess. I'll say basic in quotations. Um, I still love these things, you know, of course they don't have the whole super era roof or turbo or anything like that, but you know, they're still awesome little vans. Um, of course, Hondas, you can't beat that. Um, this one is in very nice condition, um, and I've had lots of maintenance done to it. And I mean, just look at that. I love the little, uh, the chrome accents, the, uh, California mirrors, little step on this side. And then of course we've got the little chrome accent on the back as well. So yeah, and of course, this one is in a nice, beautiful blue color, which, you know, I don't see many of these blue ones come up too often. Um, and the exterior is in great condition. And again, I apologize that I'm in the parking deck again. I'm unable to find the time to take these videos during the day, uh, two children and, you know, a full-time job, all that. Okay, I don't need to tell you guys all that, but. Um, yeah, again, without, you know, we're back in the parking garage, so I apologize. We're not, not going to have the best lighting for this video, but trust me when I say this, this thing is in really nice condition. Um, the paint is really nice overall. You can see when it's in the sun, there are some like, you know, um, scuffs and some swirls and, you know, 30 year old paint problems, you know, but overall it's really, really nice and clean. There are a few little dings and dents um, around the van, of course, you know, to be expected for a van this old. A little, little one right there, little ding right here. Come around, um, you know. Like I said, there's really not much, many things to make note of. Little ding on the door right there, and then this is probably the worst one right here. Um, pretty big ding there with some touch-up paint. Um, not the greatest touch-up paint job, but you know it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, this thing is um, very rust-free, really nice condition, um, interior was a little bit dirty when I got it, but you know, I've cleaned it up nicely. Again, I apologize, it is hard to see. The iPhone's kind of making up for that a little bit, but you can see headliner's looking pretty good. A Couple little stains on the headliner. Um, the headliner was a lot dirtier when I first got it. I know this van actually was sitting for a while before I purchased it. So that's uh, kind of another reason why I had a lot of the maintenance work done to it. Because I know it was uh, there was a very little kilometers put on this thing in like the past 10 years so you know as far as the maintenance goes I've done timing belt um, all the gaskets all seals of the engine well other than head gasket but you know you know what I mean um, valve cover gasket all that stuff every seal you can think of um, uh, all the fluids the oil the coolant all that has been changed out so this thing has been great for me. Um, you know, I've had absolutely no hiccups with it at all. It's got 153,000 kilometers on it, which, you know, is right around 95,000 miles or so, which is a little bit higher for these uh, Japanese car, or Japanese car standards, or and Cape car standards, I guess. Um, but you know, 95,000 miles is nothing for us Americans over here. But with that, and with all the maintenance that I had done to it, it runs and drives absolutely perfectly. Shift, shifts great. Um, the shifting feels great. The clutch feels awesome. Um, one thing I will make note of, it will need new tires soon. The tires are dated 2006, so I guess that'll give you some kind of indication of how much it was driven in the past 10 years. We are missing the Honda logo back here. Um, I'm sure that could be easily sourced off of eBay. Honestly, I haven't looked, but you know, little things like that don't bother me too much but it might be up to a new owner to find a little Honda logo on there. But like I said, absolutely no rust in this thing. Um, I don't know if you can really see that. Let me get out of the way. The carpet's a little worn. As you can see, there's a little, a little scuff. You can see my shadow there and there. So I think it was actually used as a bit of a cargo van at one point in its life. But the inside really isn't you know too dented or scuffed up uh, on the metal or anything like that. So. Um, I cleaned up the carpet a little bit, made it look a little bit nicer. So um, overall, it's pretty clean back here, you know, and I am missing one headrest. <laughs> it's kind of weird. I don't know if, if you guys are following the channel, you might have seen the Bravo that we have in as well at the moment, the 1990 Mitsubishi Bravo. We're also missing a headrest in the back, <laughs> which I don't know why. It's uh, kind of random, but a weird, weird little thing. But let's take a look at the back here. 
as you can see right here, you know, take a look at this side. Seats are nice and clean. You know, like I said, I apologize again for the lighting. Not the best to look at it in here, but yeah, nice and clean. There is a very decent sized stain right here on this carpet piece right here. I tried to scrub it out as good as I can, but it wouldn't really come out. So, um, but there's no weird smells in this thing or anything like that. Um, cool thing as well. It's got the original radio, which is fairly rare for these things. Does have factory fitted AC. The AC unfortunately does not blow very cold. And this little, you know, the sun visor, that's, that's as high as it stays up. So that might have to be replaced in the future. And we got a little stain here. I'm sure that could be picked away. I picked away some of it. It's like just like some hard substance. I'm not really sure what that is. But again, it's a 31 year old van. So, you know, you're bound to have some, some stuff like this. So yeah, that's about all there is to it, you know? Um, like I said, these vans are a little bit more basic, but being the Honda Acti, they're a bit more popular. So as compared to something like the Mitsubishi Bravo, it's a bit easier to find parts for. So that's one less thing to worry about. The Mitsubishi Bravo itself is still easy to find parts for. You can find things, you know, Megazip, Yahoo Auctions, all that. They have pretty much any part you could think of, but these Honda Actis, they are a bit more common here in the US and you know, they were, they were much more mass produced than a lot of the other K vans. So they are a lot easier to find parts for these things. But yeah, overall it's a really nice van. It's in great condition with a lot of maintenance done to it. And all the stickers are in really nice condition. As you can see, I'm just gonna go down this sticker, show you that this thing definitely was well taken care of. It was definitely stored inside, I would imagine. Come across here. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever had a van like this where all the stickers are still perfectly intact, so. But it's definitely impressive. But gotta love the 90s decals. And I love the factory hubcaps. All the factory hubcaps, they they do have some scuffs on them, but to be expected, I guess. I mean, seems like uh, a lot of these little K-Van K drivers like to curb the wheels. But yeah, I guess we'll just do one quick last walk around of the van. Just show you guys so you can get a good look. I apologize for the amount of pollen that's all over this thing did not have a chance to rinse it off before this video. But you can still get a good idea of the condition of the paint on this thing. Very nice condition for 31 years old. But yeah, I guess we'll come around to the front and we will give it, we'll start it up. On cold starts, this thing, you know, pretty much starts on the very first crank every time. It is carbureted, so this one's warmed up a little bit. So sometimes you have to give it just a tiny bit of gas on the warm starts. Yeah. And then as you can see, idles absolutely perfectly. Turn the lights on for you guys. Very nice. And then, like I said, it does, the AC does not blow cold, unfortunately, but um, yeah, you know, we have this right here, the original little lighter right there. So yeah, I guess that's um, pretty much all there is to go over. And then we can go over this. The interior lights do work, which is cool. A lot of time that's pretty rare for these older vans. Um, <laughs> more than half the time, it seems like I get one of these in, the interior lights don't work. So pretty cool, pretty cool to have. And then we have the real-time four-wheel drive, which these things, you know, essentially they're all-wheel drive, but they like to call it real-time four-wheel drive. 
all crank down windows. Cool thing about the Acti as well is that the rear windows roll all the way down with a child safety manual, child safety switch back there. Oh, sorry guys, it's so dark, but yeah, it's definitely very cool to have. So anyways, I guess we'll uh, we'll give it a little test drive and um, I'm gonna show you guys how this thing drives and yeah, show you how smooth the power comes on, how smoothly it shifts and all that. Um, so yeah, that's uh, pretty much all there is to it. So I'll, I'll uh, be right back for you guys and uh, we'll catch you in the driving section. All right, guys, we're back here for the driving portion of the video. Um, yeah, like I said, in the walk around, this thing runs and drives, shifts perfectly. The brakes feel amazing. Um, you know, it does, well, I would imagine, I don't know exactly what a brand new Honda Acti Street from 1993 feels like, but I would imagine it feels pretty similar to this. Um, I've had a lot of maintenance done, like I said, belts, serpentine belts, timing belt, blah, 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 all that. Um, I have the receipt to show you guys if you know, you're know you curious about the specifics. Um, a couple other things that I also changed, uh, that, that all was done in Honda, Japan. Um, I won this van at auction, uh, auction grade 3.5, and um, then I had it sent straight to Honda to do a bunch of maintenance to it, and that's what was all included in that one. And then when I got the van here back to the States, Honda Japan, they don't drive the vehicles. So when I got it back to the States, uh, there was a lot, a lot, a lot of play in the steering. So I had to, uh, excuse me, guy in the street. All right. But yeah, there was a lot of play in the steering. So I had to figure that out. So I first, I changed out the steering rack on it. And uh, the steering rack was not the culprit um, because I went, went and drove it and there was still a lot of play and uh it ended up being the center steering link bushing the bushing of the, the center steering link was completely gone just about um so you know i i changed that out uh yeah so new steering rack and center link as well so you'll be good on those for a while and uh yeah but not now it drives straight as an arrow no play in it or anything like that so so yeah, we'll give it a little gas here. And you hear that, I believe it's the E07A, E07A engine in this thing. Has a great little sound to it. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard the, the Honda Beat. Of course, the Honda Beat with the uh, independent throttle body sounds a little bit better than this, but yeah, I mean, this thing still has a very similar sound to that. So these little vans do sound great. I love the sound of them. A uh, little three banger in the back. So yeah, this one's powered by a three cylinder as well. Uh, it's right around 40 horsepower or so. Um, of, yeah, of course, this one's four wheel drive, five speed, original radio, original everything. Uh, runs and drives great, lots of maintenance done to it. I know I've said that a million times. Could probably use new tires, 2006 tire date coats. Um, I, I haven't seen too many like sidewall cracks or anything like that in them, but you know, they are 2006. I've driven them on the highway and they've been fine, but just something to keep in mind for the new buyer. Um, but yeah, like I said, you know, drive straight and uh, not the fastest thing in the world, but enough power to get up and keep up with traffic. Um, I will say for these little K vans, a lot of people do ask if you can drive them on the highway. You can drive them on the highway. They'll, they'll keep up with very lower, lower end highway speeds. I would say they're probably most comfortable on the highway, right around 60 miles an hour. You can maybe push it 65 or so, but you kind of get blown around by the wind and you know, the engine's gonna be screaming at that cause you know, they're lower, they're geared for smaller Japanese streets. So, you know, it's, it's, to, it's to the personal preference of the driver, but I prefer to keep them on 45, 55 mile an hour B roads. That's where they're most at home. But yeah, you can see we're cruising along. We're in fifth gear now, and you can kind of see where the RPM gauge is at. Uh, the gearing on these is pretty low, but you know that's just how they were made. And these 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 little engines are made to rev, so you know they'll they'll sit at that all day. But I've definitely done longer highway trips in these in these vans before. Stay all the way to the right. Um, keep it right around 100 kilometers an hour, which is just about 60 miles an hour. And yeah, as you can see, pulled into our spot. And we're back in neutral again and back to idling perfectly. No problems there at all. Um, so yeah, like I said, you know, the blower works great. The heat works great. AC does not blow cold. So that's just, you know, something for the new owner to think about. And other than that, great little van. Um, 
lots of re recent maintenance, so something that the new owner does not have to worry about. And overall, really clean and uh, appears to have been very well taken care of. And uh, yeah, the, so that's about it. So if you guys have any questions about this van, it is for sale. So just, you know, feel free to reach out. Check us out at hoogiesimports.com or hoogiesimports on Instagram. Those two are the most common places. I mean, Instagram is usually where most people reach out and find me. We're also on Facebook, so you can reach out on Facebook as well. Um, I would recommend checking out the website because that does have all of the information on there. And if you want to see these vehicles in person, um, feel free to reach out to me and uh, all of our contact information is on our page. So, um, so yeah. Also, if you have any questions about this thing or any other vehicles that we have, feel free to reach out. I'm always happy to answer a million questions that people have. I understand, you know, buying a 25 plus year old Japanese vehicle can be a little bit daunting, but, um, but yeah, we try to buy only clean ones that are driving well <laughs> before we sell them, of course. So, um, yeah, this is a great little van. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, and we will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you.